It's a warm but cloudy day out there and you can kind of see looking out over Grand Rapids. We don't have any of those strong shadows that we had yesterday indicating that it is fairly cloudy and it has been pretty cloudy since about noon time. Before that we did get some sunshine but we have since clouded up. Currently 73 in Grand Rapids and we're 75 for Battle Creek and Kalamazoo. A little cooler along some of the lakeshore areas but still upper 60s and low 70s pretty much wherever you are which is well above average. This view out over South Haven has been the best one to monitor a few light showers that are trying to move on shore. They've been moving from south to north, so south is in this general direction, north is a little bit farther that way, and you can kind of see where those showers are. Zooming into South Haven, you can see right offshore a couple of those light showers that we can see from the camera and out into parts of Berrien County too. a few of these light showers making their way on shore. But this band of showers has been diminishing. If we do get a few showers here along the lake shore, maybe push Pushing as far inland as 131, I think it would be probably within the next couple of hours. This is going to be our first system of the week. There's isolated showers expected with this cold front and behind the front into tomorrow afternoon, much cooler and breezy still for the rest of the week with northwest winds in place. Our front on Friday, though, is going to be one bringing us a better chance of rain. Both of these systems are very uh, moisture starved, really, so it's not a ton of rain, but we'll take anything we can get. This was yesterday's system in the plains starting to make its way our direction, really losing a lot of the moisture. And then this next front currently in Minnesota, there's a little more moisture with that. We might get a shower or two into tomorrow, but it looks pretty sparse through this evening. This is the first system that is moving across the Great Lakes. Now we may see a few of those showers hang together as late as maybe 10 o'clock. Most of us stay cloudy overnight, cloudy tomorrow morning, and then the front moves through at that point in time. Maybe a little bit of trailing moisture in some of our northern counties, but it doesn't look great through the early morning to mid afternoon hours, but then we should start to clear out as high pressure comes in place for Thursday. That's going to be down to our south a little bit helping to clear us out though and give us a sunnier day, but still kind of be on the cooler side. Lows tonight still very mild will be upper 50s for many. There could be some as low as 53 or 54 and while we'll be cloudy and breezy, it's definitely going to be on the mild side. We would expect temperatures for afternoons to be in the upper 50s this time of year. So to have a morning in the 50s shows you we're still well above average. All of that changes tomorrow. Temperatures come crashing down post cold front 63 for a high with maybe a shower in the morning, but it doesn't look very likely. Wind kind of switching from the west into the northwest for tomorrow, which will help to usher in some of that cooler air and we'll feel that cooler air for the rest of the week. High temperatures Thursday into the 50s and that's after starting very close to freezing for a lot of us. We haven't had that for a while and then generally speaking staying on the cooler side overall through Monday.